defense will decide, will decide the game right here. This defense right here will decide the game. They've been having success down this wing. They have been having success down this wing. Oh, yes! No! He is, uh, just the boys defense, especially the guys that have made it their boots tonight. Ah! So today on PK Sport, we are here again at Suncorp Stadium for something a little bit different to what we've been all We've done something like, we've done, we've done Rugby Union before, right? We've done Rugby Union before, but we haven't done it for like, I think it's two years now. I actually just realised that the last games we went to, Rugby Union wasn't Super Rugby, it was Rugby Union, it was the National Rugby Championship, Fiji and Jura over in Fiji, which you guys have been love. I can't wait for that to start again at the end of the year. But this is the first time in, yeah, two years, first of the two years since I've been to the Rugby match, and I don't really come to Rugby too much, so hopefully if you guys enjoy this, I'll start coming to a few more Reds games, and you know, may even travel down to or, or the Brumby sometime soon. I don't know, forgive me, forgive me. We're back here now for the Queensland Reds versus ACT Brumbies match. Last time we went and saw, it was, I think it was Melbourne Rebels versus ACT Brumbies down in Melbourne, and I wasn't supporting the Brumbies there. Now it's in Queensland, and we're not supporting the Brumbies again. Yeah, sorry Canberra. Uh, Sorry, Canberra fans. <laughs> Look, I promise you, Brumbies fans, if I go down to Canberra this year for a Games Experience vlog, I will go down and I will support the Brumbies. You've got my words, and you've got my word. I'm not picking on you, all right? I'm not picking on you. But anyway, today's game should be a pretty decent game because, you know, they're not, I don't know, I wouldn't call them fantastic teams. The Brumbies did get a decent win against the Sunwolves last week. It was a little bit of a scare. They won 32-25, but they did come out on top in the end. The Reds, on the other hand, not so good. They got flogged by the Melbourne Rebels by 26 points down in Melbourne, which is obviously not a good result. <laughs> Not a good result. They are now bottom of the division, and it's not looking too good for the Reds. So uh, they need a they need a decent win today. They, they, <laughs> they need a decent win today. Anyway, guys, enough of talking out here. Let's get into the stadium to have a bloody good time. And hopefully, you know, it's the Reds' first home game of the season. Hopefully, they can get a win. Let's go catch them out. <laughs> Inside, you would have had it. You would have had it if passed inside. Go on, go! Oh, yes! No, he's out. Wee. This game has been a lot of dangerous tackles. Like it's nearly getting to the double play figures. Like it feels like that anyway. It feels like it's getting to the double figures. But um, yeah, just a lot of dangerous tackles, a lot of clumsiness, a lot of drop ball. Hasn't been the best of games so far. Obviously, there has been no try scored as well. Another thing I want to say is that I look around the stadium and I look back to oh, obviously stole the line out. I look back to the time when the Reds made the grand final and the Reds made the grand final and they had the home. Um, they had they played it here at Sunport Stadium and the place was full. There isn't many people here at all. Now at the Brisbane War game, well, look, actually no, I'm not even going to refer to that because everyone likes to support a winning team. Every place you go to, there's always you know if the team isn't winning, there's not always going to be a big fan base there. And obviously the team isn't winning right now. They're not putting in the performances. And the fan base isn't here right now. The fan base isn't here right now. That's, a little, that's pretty much across Brisbane right now. Pretty much across Brisbane, none of the team is doing fantastic. Oh, Reds are all back. I don't know how to fix it, but Australian Rugby Union has really fallen apart lately. I don't know what's happened. Australian Rugby Union has really fallen apart in the last, I don't know, decade or so. And it just hasn't been the same. It used to be one of Australia's biggest sports. And then, just not anymore. Here we go. Oh, you, go, you guys want to see it from the line? Hold on, I'll tell you. Oh! Yeah! No! You are 
Success down this wing. They have been having success down this wing. Oh, yes! No! That's crazy. That's two knock ons now down that wing. Oh my gosh, no, that wouldn't get away. Oh, come on! Come on! No, he's gonna go out and he's gone out, man! So many opportunities. Oh, oh, here we go. Oh! Too easy. That try was so easy. Alright guys, so it's half time in the Reds lead 6 1 for the front That's That's been the game so far and the fire bloody went off right in my face. Gee. Oh my gosh, that was just bloody hot. <laughs> and then the rest of the game so far, been very low scoring. 6 5 is just not usual what a rugby score looks like at half time. It's been a lot of drop ball. There's just been a lot of mistakes made from both teams and it just been, it just, it's, it's been decent. And it hasn't been at the same time. It's an average game. But it still can go either way, you know what I mean? I'd rather that way than kind of be uh, either it's like one team just taking away, you know what I mean? So, look, we should be in for a good up. We should be in for a good up. Yes! Good sweet, man! Hey! Hey! Right, there we go. Alright, so the Reds are now up nine points. Still no try. No one What happened? Yes! Heart attack, man. That was heart attack and a half. Oh my goodness me, I thought it was done for the world above Mr. Believers. This defense will, des will decide the game right here. This defense right here will decide the game. Oh, no! No! Jeez. Right, so I might have missed that try because I was supposed to be in the game. 15 10 now, there's still 5 minutes to go. If they get the kick, a three point game. They should get the kick to a pretty decent position. It's not too far out. The game's just turned back on. The game has just turned back on. There is still 5 minutes to go, and obviously with Rugby Union, the game just keeps going until the ball goes out of play afterwards. So the Reds bloody hope better hope they get the ball back. Like they need the ball back before the Bumbies just get a roll on. Oh, he nearly got that. Oh, he's missed that! Once he kicks this, he seals the game. Nice win by the Reds. Nice win by the Reds. Yes! Go on, you Reds! Alright, I am here with one of the Reds, boys, over Gravy. Mate, what do you reckon? Okay, one's a big win. Yeah, yeah, big win for us. Uh, sorry about no tries, but uh, happy the boys got over the line, yeah. Yeah, a little bit like South Africa back in uh, yeah, yeah. the World Cup to win the final. Who That's cares? You know? Win's a win, so it's all good. Last week, you obviously, didn't have the best result. Now you're back to winning ways. Yeah. Is this a uh, good momentum going forward? Uh, it definitely is. Uh, it's part of the boys' defense, especially the guys that have made their debuts tonight, so yeah. pretty happy with the result. And you're looking forward to the rest of the season. You think you guys are positive in the sheds and you know you're going to do well? Yeah, we just got to work hard. Uh, yeah. you know, that's our first win, so we've got to keep uh, building on it and keep working. Unfortunately, the Brumbies did lose 18 to 10. I'm here with the number 20, the big boy for the Brumbies. Mate, unfortunate result. What do you reckon? Um, I think it's a hard for the match. Um, I guess they won the end. Um, it was a big physical battle. Um, and we'll see the, uh, the Reds came through with it. Yeah. Well, obviously, you guys got the win last week and then struggled this week. You, you get back to winning ways next week. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think we've got to go back to the drawing board. Um, we've got to address the issues that we, uh, that we face today. And, uh, yeah. And you think the, uh, is the dressing room really, really going into this season uh, positive about the, uh, the, the season? Yeah, 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 yeah. We're positive. Um, I think this year we've got a uh, winning, that really, uh, really big winning mentality. And, uh, that just needs to start, you know, from, from get go, from the season kick off, right through to the 80s. We had a good start, and we had a seven, What do you reckon is the, the main focus for the Reds? Come on, come on. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, as long as you guys work hard, the fans are going to be happy, so that's great. Alright guys, well that's going to be it for today's video. If you like it, please give it a big thumbs up so know that you're enjoying this content. Funnily enough, the music likes to over Over just over there, tomorrow night we're going to the Brisbane Brawl vs Adelaide United match. If you're a big sport fan, if you love any sport, rugby union, football, anything, go and hit that subscribe button right now so you can join the big army. Let me know if you guys want to see more rugby union content. I know you love your rugby league, I know you love your football, I know you love basically everything. So if you like your rugby union, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button so that I know you're enjoying it, you want more of it, and then I'll come back to more games. Even travel around Australia and see a few different games over the Waratahs, even go across to New Zealand and see the Chiefs, the Crusaders, you know, it should be an absolute massive time. So like I said, hit that like button. Don't forget to go and hit that little ding-a-ling-ling -ling notification bell every two days we post on Big House Sport. Thanks for watching, guys. Catch you later.